What's up you guys? Welcome to yet another organize and declutter video. So I've already done three other like declutter organize style with me videos which I'll have linked down below. But yeah, today we're gonna tackle this pretty much. It seems like a lot, but it's actually not that much. And I had some new organizers that we're gonna unbox together, which I'm so ultra excited about, so let's do this. So first I picked up two of these adhesive shelves. They're technically supposed to be for the bathroom, but I felt like it could be kind of cool in this little space here, maybe for like my perfumes, fragrances. I didn't wanna buy something else to just put on my desk as an organizer, it's just too much stuff piling on top of each other. So this, I felt like I have a ton of space on the walls here so we could situate it nicely together. I think it actually looks really cute and it's gonna add the perfect touch to this space. Plus it's so nice and smooth and you can like decorate it if you feel like it's too simple and plain, but I love. Um, it does come with this self-adhesive sticker, which I would have loved if I could just maybe put something else, but you kind of have to use this um, to actually make it stick. So let's see. I also downloaded the level tool to make sure that I'm putting the shelf straight. I think I wanna put it here. Yay, I think it looks beautiful. Yes. Okay, we're gonna unbox the other one now. So it does come wrapped up. Let's take this off. And then the adhesive come separately. So we're gonna put this first. The bowl needs to be in the middle. It's 0 0.1, so I'm by I'm 0 0.1 off for that one. For the top one, it seems like I'm 0 0.2 off. Also, not too bad. It seems pretty sturdy, and online it says it holds up to 10 pounds, so I think we'll be good. Okay, so yikesies. A while ago, I mentioned that I wasn't too happy with how you know my mists are looking in here. I got this actually from tar the Target $5 spot, um, and I knew it wasn't permanent, so now I'm happy I have a home for them. So the first two mists I have here are these guys, and these are actually fairly large. A lot of times when I used to organize like my mists, it never fit with, you know, it never fit in its space. And now I just feel like this is perfect because you can put like taller mists, shorter mists, and it's still gonna look hot. So excited. Okay, we got the All Nighter, which is a classic for me. This YSL one is great if you have dry skin. It's very hydrating and glowy, but not too much. Peach and Lily one is a classic. I have a little one of the Professional, which I use for traveling and I just refill it whenever I'm almost done. So I'll put this on this side, small ones. Uh, let's hope this thing doesn't fall, I imagine. I have a small one of the All Nighter, this gorgeous MAC one that was part of like a limited edition collection. And then this Ilia one. And I also love that I can see what I have now because that's my whole vibe, you guys know. Plus I can actually display stunning pieces. Like this is absolutely gorgeous and I can, I can actually see it. All right, we also have the Diamond Setter by Physicians Formula. Oh, how cute. In here I actually put an oil, so it's not a mist, but I'm still gonna put it here. And then I have the Lawless one, which sucks because the nozzle broke, so I'm trying to like pour this into one of the other ones, but I don't wanna throw it out because it was so pricey, so, but it's broken, but we're still gonna keep that. For everything else in here, we just have like um, lotions, hair products maybe i'll put the hair products on top because i think i don't i don't think i have that much okay sorry for the awkward angle but this is what we're working with for now i have a decent amount of dry shampoos which i do use a lot especially like on my wigs so we have that one the garnier oh i love this system the good behavior a small little one by the elizabeth and arden brand sorry elizabeth james <laughs> okay we got those this by the lacete brand which is broken so I actually just pour it in this Orbe bottle, which works well. I also have the Bio Silk, which I love to use after the shower. And then this Detangular, Detangular, yeah, whatever, by Drunk Elephant. So there's that, I think that's all for hair. Okay, so I moved you guys back a little bit. You could see what's going on here. I'll have to probably figure out what I wanna do for this little section, um, but otherwise I'm, Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. It's the cutest thing. All right, next we're tackling this station here. I bought another pack of the organizers. So you guys can see here I have, what, eight, nine, ten. I got two more, so I have 12 in total, and it looked, you know, even. I love how they come packaged also. Okay, 
So here's drawer number one. I love these. They're the cutest drawers and such nice quality. So we're gonna situate this here. Yay! It looks incredible. So I this out. And here I basically have just items that I purchased from the dollar, Target dollar spot. But I haven't found a home for them yet. But I got some cute like tea time picture frames. This I thought was so adorable as well. I don't know if they have it anymore, but how cute for honey. Maybe brush Hashanah. I also got another picture frame. Maybe I'll put my son and I in this one. I also got these little like ceramic plates that I figured I could maybe use for like um, one second, rings. So I got that, this one, and another heart. This notebook, I'm gonna put away, Hello Kitty one, as well as this notebook. I just have a lot hanging around. ColourPop actually sent me their Lost in Love Valentine's collection, which I think is the cutest thing. My son already got into most of it. But I mean, the palette is so beautiful, like not even just for Valentine's, but just generally like a perfect pink palette. palette. It also came with these lip and cheek balms, which we're gonna put in the blush drawer. The collection also included some of the Jelly Much shadows. This product here is a body glitter gel. We got a cute like beauty blender, heart shaped, and then some yummy ultra glossy lip products. Look at this color. Okay, next I have these Sephora favorites kits. I kind of displayed them just for a bit. I think I might have wanted to do one or two other like Instagram videos with them, but just never ended up happening. So I'm gonna put these away just cause it just doesn't look the best up there. So I do have a video up on these though, like on YouTube, if you wanna see like swatches and stuff, but this is one of their best kits I wanna say. So for the Clarins lip oil, I'm gonna put in the like lip balm, lip oil drawer, which honestly I'll tell you guys, I've been using so much more products since I actually organized this section because otherwise it was stuffed in the white drawers and I just wasn't really using it. Um, and then these are just lipsticks, which we're going to organize today, the lipstick drawer in the Alex drawer unit. So I'm going to just stuff those in there for now. Okay, then I have this Sephora Babits kit, which includes some lip products, but also some other stuff. So this will go by the mists. And then I'll also put the Makeup by Mario lip balm product in here, which I actually really love, even though it's plumping. It's so good. The iconic London is going here. I'm so confused. I don't even know where to start because I have just, I need to tackle every little area, but I think we're gonna do the eyeliners. Up here in this section, I have eyeliners that I'm keeping in this little organizer, which we're gonna have to clean out because a lot of them just don't work well. And for the most part, I do keep my eyeliners in here. So I really just I kind of want to clean it out, see what works, what doesn't work, and actually, you know, use what I love. First, I have this Charlotte Tilbury one. We have to also see how they swatch. So this is a definite keep. It's a nice brown. I have this one by Urban Decay. It's like a purple, just broke. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, I'll have to sharpen that, but it's so nice. I've never used that even. Next, I have this one by Lily Lashes. It's supposed to be like a glue and amazing and an eyeliner i have this by pat mcgrath not bad not too dried out yet this persona one it's a beautiful brown also works well forgot about these uh this kkw lip liner i think i'm gonna declutter yeah don't really use it honestly so i'm gonna say goodbye to that this by ColourPop is a Looks like a deep blue. Yeah, it's pretty dry, not feeling it. I hate when they tug on my eyes. And then I have this one by Koki, which is good, but I think I'm gonna declutter it because it's already, like it's old. And you could see it's kind of like moving. You can even pull this piece out, I feel. But I'm gonna declutter it, although I did use it a decent amount of times and I would repurchase, it's a really great one, but it just tugs my eyes from what I remember. This pixie one is amazing, it's such a good brown. So I'm gonna keep it, it's in the shade Black Cocoa. Next I have a Sephora Collection eyeliner. You guys know I'm obsessed with these. They're literally like the best thing ever and it's so black, pigmented. I think I'm pretty set on liners. I thought that I don't really have that much. 
this purple one by Urban Decay. I'm gonna declutter. I feel like it swatches okayly, but on the waterline, there's nothing. Like it just doesn't do anything. This is a Sephora collection one, amazing. And then this is a Stila. Also, wow, very good. I have to get back into my winged liner game because that's gonna dry before I know it. Okay, I also have a few of the colorful liners by ColourPop, which I really don't use as much. I'm gonna declutter the, this green one. This gilded gold one by Koki. Interesting, I'll, I'll keep it because I don't have anything like it. I also have this by Urban Decay, Psychedelic Sister. Yeah, you can see there it's having a little bit of some issues. I have this yellow one. Mm. I'll keep that. This yellow one by LA Color. I'm gonna declutter, I'm never gonna use that. I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> bought it. A Sephora collection one in brown. These are the best. These are the best liners ever. They're like $6.50 on Sephora and they're so creamy. This purple one by ColourPop just broke a little. Mm, it's okay. I'm probably not going to use it though. I don't really like such shades, so better. This one I know is old. Like I don't even want to. I don't even want to keep it. And also, it's kind of uncomfortable on the eye. It's a ColourPop liner in brown, but it has gold shimmers, and it just I don't know. It irritates me. Like my eye area always makes me um, tear. This gold one by Maybelline. I'm going to say goodbye to as well. Broke a little bit. Okay, another ColourPop one. Mm. It's okay, it just seems like it has a dryness to it, so I want to declutter that. This Urban Decay blue one is next. I don't know. Mm. Oh, it's called Sabbath. <laughs> That's probably why I kept it originally. Um, it's actually a nice navy blue. I'll probably have to sharpen it, but I'm going to keep it. This ColourPop one, I'll declutter. I don't think I'll use it. We have Junkie from Urban Decay. Great green color. And then this one, I just feel like doesn't really like, yeah, look at this also. This whole thing just came out. Yeah, probably is old, but in addition to that, it's a color that just doesn't work too well. It's okay, it's a good buy to that. Okay. I also have a, I think a white one here by Maybelline. Oh, so nice. It's like almost a metallic white. Keeping. I have the ColourPop white one. I'll declutter. I don't feel like I'll need too much white. I just don't really use them. This ColourPop one, I'll say goodbye to. This peach one, goodbye. Lucky by Urban Decay. Very nice, like penny shade. And then this is in Roach. Yeah, it's like a nice brown. Actually feels a little bit drying. Yeah, it's not as pigmented as I would like, so I'm going to declutter that. I'm actually getting rid of a nice amount. So I have this bag here, actually from last time, of products that I decluttered, mainly like lip liners and lip products, like lipsticks and stuff. I'm gonna put that there. It's going a good home, don't worry. In this drawer here, I have sharpeners, which I'm gonna keep because you can always use a good sharpener. I also have a brush that just doesn't belong, so I'll put that by the brushes. And then this killer liner by Too Faced, it's good, but I love so many other ones more than this but it's it's good but i probably wouldn't repurchase again i got it for 50 percent off during the older 21 days of beauty event anyway so definitely did not spend full price on that okay lastly i have what's in here this lash princess i think it's okay i feel like a lot of people hate this but i just i think it's okay i don't think it's that bad so i'm gonna keep that a liquid liner by ColourPop. my declutter epic liner by nyx it's purple shade not sure what I was thinking, I'll be honest with you. Just never gonna use it, so I'm gonna declutter. This is by Kaja, it's the wing liner stamp. It just helps you kind of create like a wing liner. I just, I don't really use it, so I'm gonna declutter. And then I have a white liner. Also, I'm gonna say goodbye to that. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it. I guess I had a vision, but it didn't come to life. Okay, I have this one by Pixie, it's like a skin tone color it's very nice keep it this is also by pixie it's like a rose goldy gold toned not rose gold just like a well who knows what type of shade that is <laughs> i can't explain it at the moment next we have demolition keeping good brown 
Okay, this blue one by Maybelline I used to wear a lot. It's a cobalt blue, but it's pretty dry out. So I'm gonna declutter. I have a brown Stila liquid liner, which I'm gonna keep. This by The Bomb. Still pretty pigmented, so I'll keep that. And then this Milk Makeup stamp. It's so old, oh my God. It works decently, actually. Mm. Whatever, I'll keep it, I guess, because it's for the face, it's not like for the eyes or anything. Yeah, okay, oh, and then I have one more liner in here. A pixie one, it's like a red. Yeah. I think when I declutter this one, it doesn't seem like it's watching my face. This one, not bad. I definitely have to go wash my hands, but I just wiped this while my camera was off. In one little section, I'm going to put black eyeliners, because it's really what I use the most. Black and brown, I would say. So I actually only have eight pieces, which for me, I think is perfect, especially since they go bad so quickly. I also have this <laughs> TJ Maxx bag here. I purchased these from TJ probably like two weeks ago. I still didn't have a chance to put it in its designated spot. And this came with three full-size Urban Decay liners in Perversion, Whiskey, and Rockstar. So the black one is in Perversion. We'll put that in there. So excited about that. It's like the best black eyeliner ever. And the fact that I got it on such a deal is such a win. So I'm going to put that in the top section because I use the black ones the most. Next here, I'm going to put the colored eyeliners. Well, I'm going to put the brown one in here too. Okay, and then this section, I pretty much just have 10, which also I think is a perfect amount. I got some nudes, I got some fun colors. Put that in here. And then in this last one, I'm gonna put the liquid liners. So they probably should be stored this way where all the ink goes down, but I think even like this, it should work well. So I don't have too much of those, I have six. Also, solid amount. I don't use these all the time, so it's just perfect. Yay, I'm so happy it's organized. I told you guys last time we're gonna tackle the lipstick drawer. It's an insane, insane amount. I know I use a lot in here, but there are a decent amount that I also don't use. So we're gonna declutter a handful. This drawer here is empty. We tackled this a bit ago. So, you know, we're getting somewhere. But when it comes to this one, we just, we do have a lot of work, so. Let's get started and what I'm gonna do is probably put most of the lipsticks in those empty drawers. I also have that one which just has a few like ele electronic type of stuff and um, lashes which I'm gonna move and then in that th drawer I have single shadows which I would like to keep there but if I have to move it then I will. I'm gonna put everything I'm decluttering in this Drunk Elephant makeup case which I haven't even like used yet personally. I have this one on the smaller size one as well. They're so cute. So I'll just put everything in here just so I know, you know, how much I'm getting rid of. And I think I'm going to take this whole insert out. All right, let's see where that takes me. Ow. Okay, not too bad. Oh, this thing weighs like 98 pounds. Whoa, that's a lot. So I spread out everything here. I realize I actually also have single shadows. So I'm gonna put that in this drawer over here and eventually we'll get to it. But today we're really gonna tackle like lipsticks, lip products, stuff like that. Okay, so let's start off with this middle section here. I have a Fenty lip gloss, like a glittery one, the Essence one and Ofra, Ofra one, which basically these three are all the same thing. So Juicy by ColourPop and Makeup Revolution. So I'm gonna declutter Makeup Revolution and I think the for one and I'm gonna keep these three so three out of five I'm gonna actually put the declutter goods in here and the keeping items in here <laughs> okay next we have these five this yummy gloss by cover girls beautiful shade but I have a bunch of these already that I kept last time one second with that this is a pixie single shadow I'm gonna put in the shadow drawer I also have a Mac Claire Gloss, Tower 28 Claire Gloss, and this Fenty one. So I'm going to declutter these two actually. I just don't use them a lot. And I'm going to keep 
Hmm. Yeah, these three. I don't know if I remember loving this or hating this, but we'll keep these three basically and they clutter too. Next five. Patrick Todd definitely keeping this Claire Gloss by Ofra already looks gross. I want to declutter that. These by e.l.f. are the best thing ever. They're just so insanely comfortable and they look so delicious on. So I'm going to keep this Lola's Gloss. I think I'm going to declutter. It's just a little bit too, um, what's it called, plumping for me. And then this lipstick by Brand Minerals. I think, I think I'm going to declutter. I just haven't used it in ages. Even though I love the name, but... All right, so we're gonna say actually goodbye to three and only keep these two, so not bad. As for the next five, here's what we're working with. I have a Pat McGrath lipstick that I'm for sure keeping. This Patrick Todd gloss keeping as well. His glosses are the best. This by Makeup by Mario. I don't know if it exploded or not. I remember it did explode at some point. Oh, but it looks pretty well intact. So I'm gonna keep that. I have a small size of this, but also a full one. And then these, I'm gonna, let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, this I'm going to declutter. I haven't used it in a bit. And this by Ulta Beauty as well. Also, it kind of works with your pH level, but I haven't used it in a while. So declutter two, keeping three. Okay, the next few are these. So this is a heavy metal glitter eyeshadow. I'm going to declutter. It's so old and it's like practically done. I used to use this a lot. A Pixie Clear Gloss. I think I'm going to keep... This by Too Faced. I don't really use this shade a lot, but it is so insanely cute. And then uh, I think I want to declutter the Breakfast Club. I know I'm like in the minority with this, but I have never watched the movie. And then this Lux Clear Gloss. It's just a good classic to have, so I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to declutter. What am I decluttering here? Yeah, okay. These two. And I'm going to keep these three. Okay, next we have these five. I'm gonna throw this in here as well. I have a decent amount of the Clinique Black Honey like balms. So I'm gonna declutter like one, just cause I don't feel like I need so many and it's not really a product that I use all of the time. So I'm gonna keep one of them, declutter the other. This is a single shadow by Bobbi Brown. It's such a beautiful, beautiful shade. It's like a stunning brown. Perfect for every day, so we'll put in the, that in the eyeshadow palette in the eyeshadow single drawer. This is in Pillow Talk 2. I'm gonna keep, I might have two of these though, so I might have to get rid of one. And then this by Fenty, I'm gonna keep as well. This I used to like a lot in Honey by, by Smashbox, but I haven't used this in probably a good year, so I'm decoloring two out of six and keeping four, but one of them is a shadow. Okay, the next few I have here. Okay, we got these five. These are two pixie shadows. I want to declare the gold one because I never use it. And this one I do really like. It's just such a color that I wear all the time. This by Glossy, I got in these four favorites. I'm going to keep this. I also got in that kit. It's the Tarte Maracuja Lip Popper. I'm going to keep this ColourPop Gloss. It's a beautiful shade. And then this by Urban Decay. You know, it's quite unique, but I don't really use it. Yeah, I'm going to declutter this eyeshadow. It's just a shade that I never wear. So, out of six, I kept four. And I'm decluttering two. Sorry, I meant this. I'm decluttering <laughs> this. I'm keeping. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can do better the next time around. Here we have six. So this elf one, I'm going to declutter. I just thought it was okay. It's like a water stain almost. Just wasn't too, you know, fond of that. This is by Pat McGrath. I'm going to keep that one. This is another makeup by Mario, which I love these so much. Oh yeah, this is the one that exploded weirdly. How annoying is that? Ugh, are we keeping it? I'll keep it and take it out a different way, I guess. I have another one of the Too Faced lipsticks here. This is a shade I know I'm probably never gonna wear. So I'm gonna say goodbye to that one. This I'm just probably not gonna wear either, the Kaja Heart Lipstick. And then this by Clarins is a lip balm, like an orangey type of shade, which it's okay. It's a little bit too orangey for me, I would say. So I'm gonna declutter that one and I think I'm going to declutter the makeup by Mario too. It's just so dirty and gross. So there you go. We got rid of five. 
I'm gonna keep this actually. I really want it for the baggage in case you're saying. All right, so we're getting rid of four and we're keeping two. Okay, next we have these six, the Cookies and Cream Elf Gloss, um, the beading on that one. This I think I have two of actually by Fenty. I don't know why, but I wanna keep it because it was so pricey. I have a Ofra Lip Gloss in Thick, which I don't really wear as much anymore. This is a eyeshadow by Hard Candy, which I'm gonna keep, it's very pretty. And this, I don't even know, I think it was mine. I'm not sure, but a sample. So I'm gonna declutter that. Declutter two, and this I feel like I'm always wanting to love, but I just feel like it always looks so weird on me. But it's such a cool product, it's eyeshadow, so I think I'll keep it anyway. So I'll get rid of cookies and cream, I'll get rid of three, and I'll keep three. I have 23 left for now. I still have to take out more from the you know organizer, but uh, let's see if I can get rid of at least 10. So this is one I'm gonna declutter. The Grinch and Makeup Revolution one. We're going to say goodbye to that. This lip gloss by Ofra as well. I just feel like it might be a little bit more on the older side. So I'm going to declutter that as well. This by NARS. A small little one in Orgasm. I think it's okay. I mean, they're, they're, yeah, they're good. Not like my ultimate favorite, but I think I'm going to keep that one. This by Valentino I'm going to keep as well because it was so insanely pricey. And it's a great color. I just... Haven't had a chance to use it as much as I would like. Plus, it was so pricey. I also have pillow, another pillow talk to here, which I will... This actually is brand new. So, there's that. I actually might give this to someone, but I'm going to declutter it. Yeah, over here. Because I already have one, like I mentioned. These are by Rare Beauty. This is a lip balm, but it has a disgusting flavor. It's moisturizing, but it tastes so bad. It was just, and it wasn't super pricey, but I still kind of want to finish it off. This I really love though, the tinted ones. They don't really have that gross flavor. So I will keep both of these. This is one by the Sephora Collection brand, which isn't available anymore. So I think I'm going to part ways with this one, although it was nice at the time. I also have a Flower Beauty one, which I'm obsessed with. And is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's such a good one. It's like such a stunning color. Oh my gosh. It's called Spice Petal. Keeping her. I have to use her more. Just, I, I just have to. Next, I have these two little cuties by Rare. We have the shade Thankful and Support. I really like these by her, except for like the Clara one is not the best ever, but these like more tinted ones, really beautiful with like a lip liner. It gives you a nice hydrating feel and a great, they also have a great pigmentation. So we got those. Keeping them. Keeping them. This is pretty it's just i don't i haven't used it in a long time it's called spl i'm sure it'll be really stunning on the lips but i'm gonna declutter that i also have this one by elf which i'm gonna keep it's a beautiful red and these i feel like are so underrated like look at that it's so good keeping okay we got these left this i thought i would use more than i do the dewy blush by siate london it's pretty but i just don't really reach for it it's in watermelon Hopefully I won't be sorry. Oh, you know what it is also? It's for the cheeks and lips. And because the applicator is not lip friendly, I guess. Yeah, it just doesn't appeal to me. Whatever. Declare that one. This by Gucci I'm going to keep. It was a pretty pricey lipstick. And it's a beautiful shade. So I'm going to keep that one. A, I have a Makeup by Mario lipstick here as well in Garth. I don't wear these shades often, but it was pricey. I still want to get more use out of that one. Then I have a Urban Decay lipstick here in Liar. This is a pretty good shade, I want to say. Yeah, it's such a good one. Oh, I cannot say no to that. I also have a Natasha Denona. I need a nude lipstick here in Jennifer, which used to be my obsession. Still like it. Gonna keep it. Another Natasha Denona lipstick. This is like a concealer nude. Also really enjoyed that one. Keeping. These are good pieces, you know. This I'm going to declutter the Diamond Plumper. Um, it's a good shade, but it's similar to the Fenty one if you want maybe like more of an affordable dupe. But this is a plumping one, which I, if I'm going to wear this, I prefer a non-plumping version. So I'm going to declutter, but beautiful packaging regardless. This is by Patrick Ta, a gloss I'm going to keep. And then I have lipsticks here by Natasha Denona. This is a very cool toned lipstick, which probably won't wear too often, but I still want to get more use out of it because it was so insanely pricey. And this is 415 pink in the afternoon. It's such a good color by Revlon. 
I'm obsessed with those shades and it's such a just easy one. So I want to do the bestest. Let's see how much I'm decluttering. I'm decluttering three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pieces. And I am gonna keep all of these mostly because mo most of them are higher end and they were pricey and I still wanna get use out of them and just a few other ones that I just, I think are good, you know? I'm not gonna just say goodbye to stuff just to say goodbye. I just really wanna keep what I'm using. So it's a ton, unnecessary for sure, but okay, declutter pile. Okay, here is the bin once again. I'm gonna situate everything and we're gonna declutter from there. Okay, so here we have the next set of lip products. I have two of the Rare Beauty lipsticks, which I think I got in uh, Sephora Favorites kits. These are such great quality. We have that shade, and then this beautiful nude one as well. Very similar, but different at the same time. Such good quality, I'm obsessed with these. Can I keep those? Let's see what I wanna declutter here. This I actually do wanna keep because it's a shade I don't have a lot of. But then hopping into this drawer here. I'm gonna declutter this shade because I have one or two similar ones to this and I don't have anything berry-ish. So keep this, but I'm exchanging it with this. I'm decluttering this one, so just saying. I, have, I do have some eyeshadows in the bunch. This heavy metal one I used to love a ton, but it's been, you know, it's been in my collection for a bit, so I'm gonna declutter. The No Budge Mint one from e.l.f. It's pretty, but I just don't really use it. And I prefer these by Bobbi Brown, they're so much nicer, even though this is not the same shade, but these are such a yummy consistency. So I'm gonna declutter these two and keep the Bobbi one. I also have this by Tarte. I do love these shades a lot, but I think I'm ready to part ways with this. There's a lipstick and a gloss underneath. My sister might actually like that one, so I'm gonna possibly give that to her. This is a Jouer Lip Gloss Hydrating Lip Oil. It's a nice color. Actually, it is a really pretty color. And it smells nice as well. So I'm gonna keep that one. I also have these, these um, lip creams. I think I will end up keeping both. I do like the quality and I haven't given it like enough love just yet. So we're gonna keep those. I also have another one of these e.l.f. lipsticks. This is my favorite shade in Joyful. I think I might even have two of these. It's such a good lipstick. Dupe for Shell told Brie Pillow Talk, I would say. Similar vibe. I have another one of these uh, Tarte lipsticks. Yeah, this one kind of exploded a little bit. So I'm going to declare this one as well. I have so many of those kind of shades that it's okay, girl, next. I have a Ofra lipstick or Glossier in Fuzzy, which I will say goodbye to. To two. This is by Grande Lips. It's so, so plumping, which I hate. I don't really like this, so I'm gonna declutter that one. These Milky Glosses by NYX are fantastic. It gives you the perfect amount of color without being too much. I have this by NARS, the full size. So before I showed you a little baby one, and I have a full size as well, which I will keep because I feel like it's pricey. What else? This by L'Oreal, I did like for some time, but I really haven't used it in ages I want to say plus it's slightly plumping if I'm yeah cocoa plum coconut plump so I like these in the original version but the plump one I just feel like it's unnecessary for me personally so declutter that this is one I'm gonna say goodbye to as well by Urban Decay another this is Milky Gloss so I have like I showed you before this one and now this you know I love these kind of shades so good stuff this is a diamond plumper gloss by Physicians Formula I don't remember if this is insane on the lips or not. The color is sick though, so we're gonna have to make an exception for that and keep it. If I feel like I don't use it, the next bit I'll end up decluttering that, but we're gonna, actually it feels a little bit sticky. Whatever, we'll see, we'll have to see. Okay, next I have this like, glittery lipstick, glitterly lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. It's like gold, unique to my collection for sure, so I'll keep it. I also have an Urban Decay lipstick here, which I'm gonna declutter, it's in the shade love trap it's like a purple but i don't use it really so i'm gonna declutter this is a luxe lip oil i don't have a lot of oils from ColourPop, so i'm gonna keep that one what else do we have here this is a lipstick in naked 
It's very similar to the other shade I kept from them. Oh, it's so nice though. I'm gonna keep it. I love these shades, so ugh. Okay, a YSL lipstick. This I'm gonna keep. I paid an insane amount for it, and also I got my name engraved here, Leora. So I'm gonna keep that. This Urban Decay lip gloss, I will declutter though. It's a very deep one for me. I have another one of these by e.l.f. This is in Happy. Yeah, Happy. Keeping that. Uh, so Juicy Plumping Gloss. I will declutter by ColourPop. It's a plumping version. It's a good shade, but it's just it's plumping. So Another one of the Diamond Last Lip Products by Fusions Formula, which I'll keep. This gloss by Natasha Denone I'm going to keep as well. It's such a good one, and I forgot about it, so I'm happy I'm doing this video. I have the Fenty Lip Oil here, which I'm obsessed with. One of the best products ever. Here I have the Super State Ink Crayon by Maybelline, which is also supposed to be a dupe for the Shalatilbury Tilbury lipstick. So I'm going to keep that one. Love it. Affordable option at the drugstore. This is in the shade Local by Urban Decay. I think I've used this one or two times, but I'm going to declutter that. This is a Maybelline Lifter Gloss, which I'm going to keep. Just a good classic. Okay. I have another one of the Jouer Lip Oil. I'm going to declutter this one. I prefer the other shade. And um, so yeah, I'll give, I'll give this to someone else. I have the Forget the Filler Lawless Lip Product here, which I'm going to declutter too. Lady Bold Lipstick here. This is a shade that I don't think I'm going to wear a lot. Yeah, it's so deep. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought it. It's so not my style. This is a comeback queen. But I'm going to declutter that one. This I'm going to keep by e.l.f. Really pretty. I don't wear such shades a lot, like often. But it's a very, like, light version of, like, a red. So I'm going to keep that. I also have some Kaja gloss shots here. These are yummy. Just heavenly and delicious. I bought them in a kit action, I remember. I'm going to keep those. Another one of the Lady Bold lipsticks here. This is a shade that I do wear a lot in Level Up. Yeah. It's like a peach. Peach pink. I'm going to keep that. This Marc Jacobs lipstick is like extinct, I want to say. I love the packaging. I don't know why they discontinued it, but it's, a, it's such a good color. So even though you can't get it anymore, it's one that I do wear a decent amount. So I'm going to keep that one. I have a Essence Clear Gloss. It's practically new, so I'm going to keep this too. This is a YSL lipstick. It's my second one of these, and I'm almost like halfway done with this. It's like the epitome of me in a lipstick. I love these colors so much. Keeping her. This is a Merit Gloss. I don't love the Merit formula, but I paid a hefty amount for this one, so I think I'll try to use it up just a little bit more, and the color is pretty nice. I don't have much like that. This is a Shell Tilbury Shadow Stick. Very pretty. I'm gonna keep it, put it in the shadow drawer. This is in Pillow Talk, a lip product. I didn't even know that I had that. Okay, keep. I have another lipstick by Natasha Denona. I don't even remember buying this. This is in the shade Sammy. Very deep brown. I don't have a lot like those. Gonna keep. Maracuja Lip Plumping Product by Tarte. Ugh, I have spent so much on this one and it hurts my heart to get rid of it. So I'm gonna still keep it. And I do wear the shade, I would say, somewhat often. These I'm gonna declutter. This is a Volume Extreme Lip Booster. You could tell by the name. I don't really need that in my life. This is a Kosa Sweat Lip Oil. Definitely needs to be decluttered. I feel like it's a little bit more on the older side. So I'm going to say goodbye to that. This Patrick Ta Lip Gloss, I'm going to keep good one. This is a Maybelline Lipstick in Daringly Nude. Let's see. It's so pretty. It's a, such a good one. A classic, just drugstore one. And then I have these three by YSL. So probably gonna keep all. Yeah, this is a metallic one. Ow. Okay. Then I have this one in red. How cool is that one? And the packaging is so pretty too. And then I have this one, which is a nude. I have to wear this more. It's just perfect. This is in zero one, right? Ten actually. <laughs> okay, keeping. Okay, so I put the remaining amount on the desk. This is everything that's left in the drawer. Lots of these are shadows, and then we have a few more lip products here. 
I do have a few of these by Kaja. I feel like I've been neg neglecting them because I just forgot about them, honestly. And I also just ran up and down the steps, so that's another breath. Um, but I love these. They're such good quality, easy to use, great to travel with. So I'm going to keep them. I'm going to take the organizer drawer here. So I could put the ones that I'm keeping already in the drawer. So I'm going to put the Kaja ones back here. I also have these two little ones by e.l.f. I think I might. Yeah, I see I have this one by Pixie, which is very similar to the e.l.f. one. These e.l.f. ones are good, but I don't use them enough to have duplicates of them, like from other brands. I'm going to declutter these two. Hopefully somebody else can use it. But then I see like, I also have these by Pixie, which I do want to keep because they're so good. Like they're different shades and I haven't given these enough love. So I'm going to keep those. I have a shadow stick here in copper by Charlotte Tilbury, which I'm going to keep as well. This by Urban Decay, you could see. It's it's definitely seen better days. I'm going to declutter that. This smudge stick is a little bit dried out by e.l.f. I'm going to declutter. What else? This I really liked for a decent amount of time, but I feel like I have this like in a bronzer form and this could be like a blush that I could pop out of my blush drawer. So no need for this one. I'm going to declutter. I do also have these. So one from Ofra, e.l.f. I'm going to declutter those two. This Koki one, I think I'm also going to say goodbye to. I have a similar shade to that. And I have these no budge sticks. I don't know what I was thinking buying the gunmetal one. I wanted something different, but I never used that. And then this is a mint one. Don't use that. This is by the Cookies and Cream collection. Okay. I think this might even be brand new. So I'll give that to someone and I'll give this to someone as well, the brown and black one. Yeah, so declutter these. Let's see. This, these by Catrice are actually really good. They're like a water lip stain. Also have not given these enough love, which I should because they're so beautiful. I mean, look at this pink one. It's like perfect and it gives you the most yummiest stain ever. So I'm gonna keep these two. This by Catrice, I'm gonna declutter. The Catrice Maximizing Lip Product. I have a Pam McGrath lipstick here that I know I love. I just wanna keep this. Givenchy. This is like a lip balm. I'm gonna keep. This is a mini Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. I feel like I have so many of these shades already, dupes, everything. Like it's too much already. So I'm gonna declutter this little one because I know I have it in the full size already. This is in pillow talk two again. Do I have three of these? I don't even know anymore. This is in Bond Girl. Bond Girl I'll keep. It's a very deep, vampy color. Very Victoria is a good shade as well. I used to wear this a lot. It's a cool toned. I guess I'll keep Pillow Talk 2. It's a good classic to have. Um, these single shadows, I'm going to declutter. Don't use them really as much as I would like. So the NYX one, this by ColourPop looks old, but it's a very cute color. And then this one I will keep. It's in Ripple. It's such a cool shade. Oh no, I will not keep it. It's so, it's like dried out. No way, but it was so good at the time. So anyway, I might have to repurchase that and actually use it for once in my life. I have another one of the Kaja, which I'm gonna put in the shadow drawer. This is another one of the Clinique Black Honey, which I just realized actually, I think they discontinued these because I don't see it on the Sephora site anymore. So I'm gonna keep the second one just because. I also have a Sephora collection lip product. It's a cute cool tone shade, but I'll declutter that. Oops. These by the Give Beauty brand. I got it as a duo from Sephora. I'm gonna keep. There are two different red shades. One is more glossy, one is more like matte. These from Kaja. I think I'm gonna keep this nude one because I do like the shade, but this purple one, I think I'm gonna pass along to someone else. I also have this lipstick by NARS, which was limited edition, but I love these kind of shades, okay? It's like very MAC Saint Germain, right? And it's very like light. It's just yummy, like a bubble gum. I love those kind of colors. So I'm gonna keep that. This is a YSL lipstick I'm gonna keep as well. It's in the shade 70. Good classic by them. 
This I know I had for 10 years, this shade specifically. It's such a good one though. It's in Fire and Ice. I remember when I bought it, it's crazy and it still seems like it's working well. Are we keeping it? Are we not? I don't know. We'll see. Um, I also have this by Rare Beauty, a liquid lipstick, which I do want to keep. Actually pretty similar shades. I love like bright orange reds. I'm going to keep that. I also have a mini of the Makeup by Mario, but it actually is almost even a full size. You can see it's pretty large. So keeping this one. This by Too Faced, I'm also going to keep. I love this kind of color. Forgot about this baby. So good. Just easy to throw on. This by Benefit. Um, I think I'll keep it too. Yeah, it's a very beautiful, wearable, slightly cool tone shade. This tastes gross, but it actually is very hydrating on the lips. It's like a lip balm. I'll keep it. YSL, I want to finish that off. I have a Milk Makeup Kush lip product here. Also like a lip balmy one, but it's just an awkward shape. Shape, shape. Why is everything falling? Okay, and then I have this shadow by Kevin Aquan, I want to say. It's very unique. It's nice to kind of like brighten the inner corners with. I'm going to keep that. And then I have the last few ones here, which is crazy. So another one of the e.l.f. lip balm things. I'm going to keep it. This is in Hell's Bells. Oh, it's so nice. What up? What's up? What happened to this though? I think I got on a Sephora favorites kit. It's so pretty. This is a Gucci lipstick, which I'll definitely want to um, display at some point. So pretty. This glaze by the NV brand is so yum. Keep in. We got a Bobbi Brown lipstick here. A shade that's very right up my alley and it's so luxurious. This red lipstick here by NARS is also a pretty good one. Just a small size. You see, I don't have a lot of reds. I don't have a lot of reds because I don't wear a lot of reds. <laughs> this is a Bite Beauty lipstick I made with Bite actually at the lip lab and I named it Yum because I always used to say Yum and I still kind of do. And then I have these two. So this was part of a limited edition collection which I kept from MAC just because it has like the raindrops on it. And this is just a random lip product that I don't even know where it came from. It's a matte finish. It's a good shade, but it's very drying. So I'm going to declutter that. Yikes. Okay, so here's what I'm keeping in the end. Again, it looks like an insane amount, but I think once I organize everything, um, it'll just it'll be easier on the eyes, obviously. And I'll get to use all of them even more. We got the drawers ready, and now we're going to divide. In one of them, I'm going to put lipstick bullets, like for example, something like this. And the other one I'm going to put kind of like tinted, moisturizing lip products like these guys. I feel like I kept a nice amount. Probably not that necessary, but... This is where I put all of the lipsticks. I actually feel like I have a little bit more space. So if I do get one or two other lipsticks, it could fit nicely here. But these are all my bullet lipsticks face upward. This I'm going to put in here. Perfect. And in this one, I pretty much just kept, like I said, like the tinted lip balm type of products. And then more of like these, the shape of these type of like the products, like pencil -y trend. Tinted, hydrating, like lip balm-ish style items. <laughs> now I'll put over here. I'm actually surprised because I thought I definitely would have to get rid of, you know, maybe even this drawer or my skincare drawer. But actually everything fit pretty nicely. These are the items I'm getting rid of. I'm just going to put everything in the bag and have some people in our lives get, go through these stuff to see, you know, if they want anything. Moving over to this shelf station, I feel like I just cleaned this out, but I keep doing my makeup in this area, so it just keeps getting messier and messier. I'll probably tackle this in the next video where, you know, we'll just get rid of even more and organize more because it'll probably be even messier than this. But I want to give you guys a little bit of an overview. Other than that, we have this little station here, so I'm gonna just clean up. We got my lashes, which are still pretty good, a brush, a receipt. And then a cream that belongs in the bottom drawer, which is pretty good if you have neck pain, I would say. I also have this posted that I kind of need, but I don't really need. Yeah, so I think I'll just throw it out. And then I have this. My eyeliner is over there, you guys know. And then my 
perfume section. I also have these blue lenses, which I'm gonna use eventually. Still not 100% sure I'm happy with how all of this is looking like here on the Alex drawer unit, but it's neat, so it's okay for now. I might end up switching it up. As for this drunk elephant makeup bag, it belongs in one of the Alex drawers. So probably in this one, yeah, it's just a bunch of stuff, but this is really where my makeup bag belongs. So I'm gonna put this here until I have a chance to clean out this drawer. I have a brush here, which looks gross. Gonna put that away. I got some garbage. This I got as a freebie with an order for with Sephora. It's actually so good. I also got these as freebies with my order. I've actually been wanting to try this, so I'm happy about that. And this I think I'm gonna put it in like a goodie bag of some sort. This I also got for free with purchase from Elf. I have a shirt here that belongs in the laundry. Have been using this hand cream. Want to finish it up? It's pretty good. These are garbage. Yeah. This is also garbage. I'm gonna put the palette on my drawer now. I'll put this where my notebooks belong. This is actually products. These are actually products that um, what's it called? Bobby Brown sent over. It's their primers. So I've tried this one in the past and it's great, but I haven't tried the other one. So I'm gonna put these in my drawers. Other than that, I have these two notebooks that I'll put away as well. Deodorant. I do have to clean out the station. It's definitely declutter a little bit, but I'm going to put these there for now. Uh, I still didn't have a chance to put these away, so I'm going to put, put them away. Eyeliner. Got a lip liner. I also have a Rare Beauty blush that I think belongs yeah, in here. Yeah, belongs in there. The Tarte uh, mascara belongs in this drawer here. All my mascaras. I have the B, the Bronzy Drops by Drunk Elephant, and then this like primer product. So both of these belong in the first drawer. Yeah. Okay. Now I can throw this out. I'm gonna put these in this drawer here. Maybe I'll give these to my nail lady. She could try these out in this drawer. In this drawer, I basically have just like restocks or items that I want to test out or just like uh, duplicates of items that I've purchased. So still need to be organized, but still, still these items do have a home, which is great. This I will put in my uh, skincare drawer, which is for now right over here. Not the most ideal place for it, but we'll find a designated home for that as well at some point. I also have this mist, which I'm gonna put by my perfumes. And I'm gonna actually keep these out because I'm almost finished with them and I'm trying to use them up and also moisturize even more. I'm actually gonna put them in front of my face, so I'm actually gonna use them. Yeah, it doesn't look the best, but here. Put this back here and I'll put this right in front. I love both of these hand creams. They're amazing. So again, I'm gonna put those there just so I could use them and you know get them out of my collection. This I'm gonna put in my drawer down there where my creams are. So have this makeup bag that I showed you guys in my previous video. It's the cutest thing ever. But these are items that I ended up decluttering. So I'm gonna put all of them in the bag that I put like the lip products in and then keep this cutie out because it's such a cute makeup bag. I love it. So this is what it looks like. It's like a cute little retro piece. Not the best quality, like I said last time, but it's still so cute. I also need to find a home actually for this, like my jewelry station. I don't have a lot at all. Like most of these are from H&M. Nothing crazy to write home about, but I just, I still need a home for it, obviously. Maybe I'll put it on my shelves where it was originally, just cause I don't really want it in this space. I'm thinking this is gonna look weird, so let me wipe this down first. Put this here, and then maybe my plant. I just love the greenery in my space. Actually, it does not look as bad as I thought. Okay, we're getting there. Let me put this away. This is garbage. My coffee can go. And then in here is where I have the new Elf 
Pout Cloud lip products. So I already did a video on these. I just ended up putting them in here. But they're such good lip products. I'm obsessed. I might want to do an Instagram video on them. So that's why I'm going to still kind of keep them in this bag from actually fresh. I got it a while ago. I think I'm going to situate it up here for now. And I also kept the Bobbi Brown box. I think it's pretty cool. This, I still don't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing with this. It sucks. It just exploded on me. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Yeah, cause it's I'm gonna actually move it from there within the next day. I want to say whatever that I'll leave it there. I'm in love. It definitely looks ten times better. And even with the lip products, even though this drawer is seriously jam packed, I still think it. I'll use everything that I have there, and then this one as well. Here I have lipstick bullets, which I haven't purchased in a very long time. So we got that. And I actually still have one empty drawer here, which I think is great. So we'll see what I'll use that for. I think I want to rearrange where all these are at. Just because I have nail polishes down here. And I think I prefer maybe the lip liners down here. And then up here I have the skincare, which... Whoops, maybe I'll put skincare here. Um... Lip lipstick bullets can go up here. Yeah, looks good. Mm, these can go in here. Eyeshadows will go up here. Nail polish down here. And this empty one will be there for now. Yeah, I think it's great. Well, I actually also have this TJ Maxx bag which on the inside, I have this primer that I, I've been using, but I still put it in the bag for a haul, but whatever, like an Instagram haul. I'm just gonna put this away in the drawer, throw everything else out on the inside. So here are where the primers are at. It's such a good product, it was like five bucks at TJ. Okay, and then lastly for this video, I think I have so much more to do obviously, but I feel like this has been the longest video of my life. So yeah, I wanna put away the Lost in Love collection by ColourPop. And then in my next organizational video, we still have a lot more to do. And it might actually be my final one for the next little bit, we'll see. But yeah, we're getting somewhere with life, I feel. See like this area here just became messy all of a sudden again, so that's gotta go. But yeah, I'm gonna put this away. This is the palette drawer. I do wanna organize that because I just don't wanna feel like I need to throw everything there. But yeah, there's that. I have three of these glosses, which I think I'm gonna keep one. This looks really cool. Wow, so pretty. Why am I keeping them all? Also very nice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep these two and then the red one I'm gonna save for a special occasion. These glosses I'm going to put in this drawer, pretty jam-packed, let me tell ya. But there's still some room. This sponge is the cutest thing, I can't wait to use this one. I also have these two beautiful blushes. You could use it for the lips as well. It's so cute. Here's the shade. And then we have like the deeper one, beautiful. And then, like I said before, the Jelly Mud Shadows I'm going to put in this drawer. I will keep it in the box to remind myself to actually use it. I'm going to keep those there. So that's pretty much it for now. I think we're going to wrap up the video here. These shelves here, by the way, they really added so much. And I'm obsessed with how it looks. I like, actually, I love how the plant is looking too. Um, yeah, but other than that, you know, we still have a little bit more to go. But we're definitely getting there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below.